Welcome back. Now, there's nothing like a political sensation to get the nation intrigued, and our next guest has been credited with changing our Conservative Prime Minister from the right to the left. Yes, nothing to do with the politics. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's the side parting, although he wants to talk about that in just a second. Uh, Lino uh, Corbusiero has uh, been attending David Cameron's hair since 2009. He's been awarded an MBE for services to hairdressing in this year's New Year's Honours list, and that made the papers. Welcome. Welcome. He cuts the hair of many famous people, um, and me. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> what happened with the MBE? Because the papers went mad that yeah. you were given an MBE because you cut the Prime Minister's hair. Yeah, I think they fixated on this cronyism thing and they didn't actually look into the whole concept. And the 2009, the 2010 parting um, paper, it came out in the paper, the Independent, I think, about the, the parting, that I changed it from left to right. I, I frankly don't remember anything of the sort. I've looked back at it and he's had his parting all over, but yet it swept back to the left, to the right. So I had nothing to do with it. I didn't say anything. As you know me, I, I don't talk. So they, 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 got, they grabbed onto that. Mm. Left to the right thing, and, um, so and that is, that's not true. Yeah, no, I mean, well, I mean, obviously well, you wouldn't. You, I know, I know you very well, and, and you remember. can't remember where people's parties are no, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I forget. I just forget. What so. about the the MBE? Did the Prime Minister give you an MBE? No, fact. Do you know what's so sad about this is that you just want to go, oh, go away. Congratulations on getting the yeah, MB. What a wonderful thing. And that's yeah. what everybody should focus well, he on. Doesn't, well, he, he can't do it then, I, I he, he can't. He can't give an MB. It goes through a, a, a process. I, I didn't know this, obviously, but uh, I've looked into it. And it's a long process. You go through committees and commi you know, independent people that will look at people in your... And also, it's, the, the thing is, this is for hairdressing. People say, why should a hairdresser get an MBE? Well... It's not, I'm not up against anybody else in any other field. I'm, I'm recognised for what I do within mm. my trade. Mm. It's not... Uh, it's not a, Comparative things Yeah, I mean, if you else. look at the list, there was someone that was a fish and chip lady, there was someone that was an embroiderer, yeah. there was someone that was a basket weaver. They've been recognised in their own right. In their own but thing. there are other things that you are, other aspects of hairdressing that you are involved Absolutely. in, which will have elevated you. Yeah, I, I, I'm really passionate about standards for youngsters in their training. Mm. Obviously, in the top West End salons, we, we give the best training because we have the facilities, we have the size, you know, we, we can teach, you know, but the small salon, the, the, the poor guy's standing there working behind a chair on his own, he's got one assistant, all she does is shampoo all day, he hasn't got the facility to teach these youngsters because, you know, he's working all day and very hard. So, mm. what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the big companies to help the small, com small salons to help educate those because youngsters are, are leaving our yeah. trade because they're not getting yeah. the proper training. Have you seen David Cameron uh, since this whole have, thorough have, in the papers? Yeah. And what did he say? Congratulations and well deserved. And he said I, I had nothing to do with it, which I already knew. Mm. And uh, yeah, he, he's backed me 100%. What's a, what's a real shame is that uh, because of all of that, um, I looked at it and I was worried that you think, oh, well, if, if something, something like that happens, that's something to really enjoy. Your family would be so proud yeah. of yeah. it. But you don't want it muddied by something that's not true. See, what people don't see is that, you know, m the family see what you do. They know the hours you put into it. It's not a fluffy job. You know, I, I could be up at six in the morning and finish three o'clock the next morning mm. and then back up at seven the next morning back to what you know they don't see when you're about to sit down for dinner and you get a phone call and you're gone mm. and your wife's cooked your lovely meal and you've gone and you've left you know they see that so they're very proud and and uh do you say whose hair you cut well you know i i, I mean a lot of people the silver know, fox the silver fox you know the osbournes um Adele when she's in town. Uh, I mean, I, I'm thinking of a, a I'm thinking of other other sort of world leaders and politicians. And oh, I like see. Um, I have had the. Uh, what? I have I'm only after. thinking of one. Okay. I don't, uh, you I don't know. know it, well, I know, but I don't know whether you're allowed to say. Well, it's been in the papers. So oh, well, it's Hillary, Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton. Clinton. In town, so you've yeah. done you've done her as well. Yeah. Wow. Or was that in Buckingham Palace? I've been at Buckingham Palace and other places as well. So I've been very lucky. There we are. Right, well, that's, uh, this, this is a hair item, but I thought that yeah. was all quite interesting to do. <laughs> yeah. um, let's, uh, let's go through a, a, okay. a minute at each of, uh, each of these, uh, these models that you've got in front of us, recreating some of the styles that, uh, that we've seen. The Golden Globes, yeah. Okay, let's it's have a look. from the Golden Globes. Let's yeah. have a look. Uh, first person, I think the inspiration here is Kate Beckinsale, isn't it? Yes. So We've there's Kate, there. there's what she looks at like. the Golden Globes. And let's have a look at our model before and see what she looked like when she came in some of gorgeous red hair there. Beautiful. And let's have a look at her new style. Round you go. Ta-da! Beautiful. So how have you achieved that? 
Well, basically, I, I smoothed over, because hair's, hair's gone a whole different way now. Um, youngsters have inspired us as hairdressers that, to put hair up in a looser way, rather than the old Christmas tree and the cake look. It's much softer, so these bits here wouldn't happen years ago. You know, this would be like, you'd have been shot for doing that. Away, yeah. It would have been smooth, this would have been completely smooth. So it's much looser. We've, I, I basically dragged the hair around, plaited the hair very loosely and, t and tucked it up. Mm. Oh, I see. Finished it. It's, it's just very simple. So it's when you say minutes. these little bits here, these are, this is all intentional? You just Yeah, this is actually, I, you know, I copied the cake. And it doesn't look like it's been sprayed to death either. It still looks quite movable, yeah, which is exactly. nice. Yeah, exactly. That's the way it's gone forward. Mm. Very nice. All well right, done. there you okay, go, there yeah. you go. That's, that's uh, the, what you've done and, and Kate's look, uh, side by side. Five there. minutes it took. Five minutes? Yeah, so five minutes. It's, it's so easy. And you can play around with the plait. You can move the plaits around and Wherever you have it to. on the top. It's, it's really in at the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's have a look at our next one. This is Sandra Bullock and Caroline here. Let's have a look at Caroline Sandra. this morning. There's uh, Sandra on the, uh, on the red carpet. So a big long side ponytail. There's Caroline this morning. And let's have a reveal of how she looks now. Wow. Okay, I didn't actually make her hair grow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, You're good, but you're I'm not kidding. that good. <laughs> Basically, I used in a clip on ponytail, which are, they're great. Mm. Uh, they're, you can find them anywhere. Smoothed over her hair. Again, as you see, it's not perfectly done, because mm. that's not the effect that you want. Combed it, a little bit of back combing on the top, just to get a bit of height, if you find it, and if you find that your hair's too flat. And slightly, use this, I used, I used um, Use the long spin ponytail that, to come around so you Sorry, can actually yes, see the back there. There you go. Yeah. There you go. That's better. There, there you go. So you so use sort of the clip sweet just to dress it. Yeah. the neck line around yeah. there. So it helps. So people who've got short hair can do it too. So it's not, it's not limited to just something. Once that's again, a very it. simple look to uh, recreate. Five minutes. Yeah. And really five soft as well. That's mm. so nice. Gorgeous. And, uh, so and next we've got to Michelle Dockery. Here's Michelle. Looking amazing. Doesn't she look beautiful there? Really classic and gorgeous. Here's our uh, here's our model this morning. There's the before. Okey dokes. And here's the after. Ta da! Now this just looks like a really beautiful blow dry that we can all dream and aspire to have. Yeah. Well, with, with this hair, I, I cut it actually because I just thought it was a little bit too long. Right. And she didn't. You didn't mind me cutting no. it today, so that was great. Once I'd cut it shorter. Easy, just very smooth. You always blow dry downwards. Mm -hmm. Keeps the cuticle smooth, and then just very loosely. If you want some height and some body, use some velcros. If you have that type of hair, so I've demonstrated how you can in different places just put a velcro roll in and just let it sort of dry itself. And cooling it off. Cool down. Sort of put a bit of hairspray that helps set it. And well. what brushes do you use? Do you use bristle brushes or do you use I the do, metal I, barrel? No, ones? I use a bristle because I find the metal barrel heat up the hair a bit too. Too much, right. and you get damage. Oh, okay. And what's uh, and what's important? The size of the brush mm -hmm. will give you the, determine how much curl you're putting. So, how, uh, so if your hair's this length, what size? So brush you need a medium-sized brush. A medium one. So okay. The, the smaller the brush, the more curl. The bigger the brush, the straighter it will go. Yeah. And okay. that's a little tip for people that they you know they don't know what brush to yeah. use, so they they find it hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the brushes are the most important bit. It, isn't it? it is because sometimes people come in. I can't get my hair like the way you do it, and I say, "What size brush do you use?" And they're using a brush this size yeah. when I'm using a brush this yeah, size. Yeah, yeah. So that's where they're going wrong. Very good. Thank Lovely. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very and much. many congratulations. Yes. On your thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, right.